Today, the nation pauses to honor all who have served in the military. Today, the anniversary of the end of World War I. Veterans Day honors the men and women who have served our country in the armed forces. Craig Boswell is in Washington, D.C. with some of today's ceremonies and celebrations. Vice President Joe Biden laid a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns at Arlington Cemetery. He made special mention of the veterans who joined the military after 9-11. They were prepared to follow Osama bin Laden to the gates of hell, and they did. The Secretary of Veterans Affairs promised a turnaround at his embattled agency. At VA, we are reorganizing for success in this effort, perhaps the largest restructuring in the history of the department. The VA must regain and retain a laser-like focus on veterans. Across the Potomac on the National Mall, fans were getting ready for the Concert for Valor, featuring an all-star lineup. I'm expecting to see Rihanna. My favorite would be, of course, Springsteen or the Black Keys. For many veterans here, the Concert for Valor is about more than the stage performances. No, it's, it's a little bit more than that. This is people giving thanks for what we do. It's good that the country's starting to finally recognize how important uh, our veterans are in preserving the way of life that we have here, so I appreciate that. Metallica, Carrie Underwood, and Bruce Springsteen are just a few of the big names scheduled to play. The three-hour concert, which is free, is aimed at raising awareness of issues that affect veterans. Craig Boswell, CBS News, Washington. 250,000 to 800,000 are expected to fill the National Mall for the Concert for Valor.